Hey everyone, it's Miss Cristobal again for science and today we are on lesson four, providing evidence. Today we're going to start out by investigating the question, how can you tell if materials and substances are different? Tell if materials and substances are different by observing their properties or by testing them. If you remember from last lesson, you did a sticky test. By doing the sticky test, it helps you observe and test properties of materials. Scientists and engineers communicate what they know or what they're thinking. They use certain types of words. They also use evidence to support what they are saying. Here's our first vocabulary word for today that we will use. Claim, a proposed answer to a question. In this next part of our lesson, we will write about mystery glue. Think back to mystery glue A and mystery glue B. And we're going to write about them. Do you think these glues are the same or not? What evidence do you have to support your answer? I'm going to show you again to remind you. Remember, this is mystery glue A. And this was mystery glue B. You can tell if materials and substances are the same by observing and by testing them. So we're going to use the evidence that we have got from our sticky test. For this um, poster that we made, it's called Design Goals. And there were three different parts when we talked about possible glue uses that was using it for our artwork and cutting and sorting our spelling words. Today, we're going to focus on these last two parts of our design goals, possible glue properties. And I wanna show you what the possible glue properties were that we found out beforehand that some glues are sticky, holds two things together, and some are see-through and not see-through. So I'm wondering, now that we've done a sticky test and we've observed mystery glue A and B, I wonder if you have a new idea about the properties our glue should have. This will be a great time to get a piece of paper or get this page out from your packet. So today we will make a claim and provide evidence to support it. And we can use the observation that we made from our sticky test as evidence. So let's go over this worksheet really quickly. It says, read the question below, then circle a claim, then record your evidence on the lines. So the question reads, is glue A the same substance as glue B? And then you can circle one of these claims or write it out. Yes, glue A and B are the same substance, or B, no, glue A and B and glue B are different substances. The last part is asking us, how do you know? What is your evidence? Let me give you some time to think about the question, circle your claim, and write your evidence. I wonder what you thought. This is what I did. I first circled that, yes, I thought glue A and B are the same substance. Then the next part, remember, was we were supposed to provide our evidence. And how did we know that? Here's what I wrote. I think glue A and B are the same substances because both glues were able to stick on the pasta during the shape test. I also observed that when they dried up, they looked similar, except glue B had glitter. Now I'm wondering, what did you write? What was your evidence? Part of our lesson, we will be introduced to design goals. Do you remember when we got a letter from the principal asking us to design a glue for the school? So we are investigating how you can design a mixture for a certain purpose. Let's think about the purpose of a glue and what we use it for. We decided that for a glue to work, it would need to be sticky. That's why we did sticky tests. Stickiness is the most important property for glue. So that's why this isn't highlighted and bolded. And here is the other glue properties that we observed. Remember that design goals are like rules that guide the work engineers do. We will have design goals for our glue. First, our glue has to be sticky. Since our first design goal is that the glue must be sticky, we need to find out how to design a mixture with that property. We'll investigate four different substances to see if they would be good ingredients for the glue mixture we are designing. Now we're coming to a new vocabulary word and that's ingredient, anything used in a recipe or a mixture. You might think back at home, what are some ingredients that you use to bake cookies? to make mac and cheese, to make a trail mix. Another vocabulary word is mixture, two or more ingredients mixed together. We're going to use this table for the next lesson, but I wanted to show you what's coming up. 
So this table is going to be used to gather evidence for which ingredients might make the glue and record that evidence in a table. So it's called properties of glue ingredients. As you can see on the left hand side, there are the four ingredients that you would use. Salt, baking soda, flour, and cornstarch. And you're gonna do a couple of things in this lesson. First, you're going, to you're going to observe the dry ingredient, that means by itself, and then you're going to observe it with water. The next part is that you're also going to do a sticky test, and we are going to make a prediction that means what you think might happen, and then you're going to record your results. That's the end of our lesson today. I hope you learned a lot from writing a claim and providing evidence about your claim, learning about our design goals and different glue properties, and that next time you're going to test different substances to find out which would make a sticky glue.